Hey, what's happening, Nation? It's Joku. I wanted to come out tonight and take a look at our new offense because we have a ton of moving pieces and I really want to see how this thing's starting to shape up because I had to go through and delete a hell of a lot of players that are no longer on this roster. And I also wanted to take a look at it because so many of y'all told me that I was 100% wrong about my receiver video and that Hunter Renfro is going to get traded through this draft and what you're looking at right now is completely wrong. I don't know if I'm completely sold on that, but I will tell you this, Hunter Renfro paired up with a third and fourth round pick could possibly get you either to the top of the third or the bottom of the second. So y'all might be onto something, but I'm not willing to shrink this dude or take any credit away from him before something actually happens. But a lot of the people in the nation right now truly believe that we're going to end up trading Renfro off, so let me shrink him down real quick, move him off to the side, bring in Carter, put him on that outside. And this is what we're going to end up running when we run our four wide receiver offense. And I'm not going to lie, this looks incredibly sick. We have a shit ton of speed in those slot spots, which will end up taking a ton of pressure off of Adams and Jacoby on the other side. He's pretty much going to be singled up every time you're in this package on the right side. Then it's just a matter of, can our offensive line hold up long enough to give Jimmy G a shot to get that ball out of there? And speaking of that offensive line, I got Miller, I got Parham, I got James. I put bars at that other guard spot, and then I'm finishing the tackle with Illuminor. I'm really willing to give Illuminor a shot this season to be our starting right tackle, but our starting guards, as it stands right now, either need to be addressed or we need a small freaking miracle. Because I am not sold on either one of those dudes starting this season. But there are a few other packages that I want to take a look at real quick, so just give me a second while I move these guys around. Can we at least agree that Carter will end up being the number three and Dorsett will end up being the number four if by some chance we do move on from Renfro? Because that's why I'm going to draw this shit up moving forward. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Dorsett. I'm going to drop him down. Go ahead and grab Hoop. And put Hoop at that tight end spot. I will tell you, I know a lot of you guys are not sold on this kid as of yet, but you will be by the end of this season. I shit you not, I have the utmost confidence in this kid. He can block, he can catch, and his ass is going back to the Pro Bowl, even though the Pro Bowl has become completely pointless. And then the last package that I want to take a look at real quick, and it's going to take me a second to move these guys. Let me shrink down Carter real quick. Move him off to the side. Go ahead and... Bring in O.J. Howard. I know a lot of you guys, much like myself, are not sold on him, but some of y'all really love him, so I'm really curious to see how he ends up playing out this year. Go ahead and move Jimmy G up and go ahead and drop Jacobs back. I'm not going to lie, I really like the way this two tight end setup is shaken out. I know I give Howard a ton of shit, but he is incredibly good in the blocking game, and he can make a play when he has to. But my gut tells me you are going to see this exact offense, minus the offensive line that I just kind of threw together, be played during every single game this season. It looks a hell of a lot like a Patriots offense from a few years back that was able to confuse the shit out of defenses and made that team incredibly hard to handle on a weekly basis. Hit me up, let me know your thoughts. I know we took a look at a few different offenses tonight, but you can plainly see we still have some big assholes, especially on that offensive line. I'm really hoping we address that through the draft. I'm really hoping I got some different dudes I can cut out to plug into these spots. If you think I got that offensive line messed up, be sure to hit me up. I have no problem changing it. And let me know if you think Renfro's ass is actually going to get traded off of this team. He's kind of the last piece that we have to get rid of to really establish McDaniels as taking this team over. I just don't want to see him go. Not this season. I think it would be a mistake. But I appreciate y'all checking out another one i'll be back in the next day or two hit me up with anything you do want to see until then i'm joe q we'll catch y'all later nation